Mama Martha, Mama Grace, the Chai family, fellow mourners, God is good all the times. We have come to pay tribute to a great Kenyan. And I'm standing here on behalf of the family of Jaramogi Oginga Odinga. Our families have got history. The, the late chief, Paramount Chief Mosa Nyandusi was a friend of our father. And as Simon would say, he took his elder son, Ayako, of whom Charles is named, to Jeramogi when Jeramogi was a teacher at Marseno High School. And told him, you told him, let you away. Jaramogi took Ayako and paid his school fees. And Ayako used to live in our house in Maseno. The first time I came and met the Nyandusi was a small boy in 1954 when I was told by my father that tomorrow in the morning we are going to Kisi. And I did not sleep. Early in the morning at 3 a.m. we took off. Those old, they were called box bodies. The journey would take three hours. Arriving in Kisi town at 6 a.m. And Kisi was very cold. So we went to a friend in the Kisi Hospital, the late Mito Jura, who received us, gave us hot tea. After which, we then drove to Mze Nyandusi's home. And we found Mze there who welcomed us. And uh, as we were taken aside, as they, they were talking now with Jaramogi and late Mitojura. That was my first encounter at that time. And that story in the time would tell me several times we met, uh, the story of how they would come together. So when Jaramogi became the minister for home affairs, when he was in charge of Africanization and provincial administration was under him. That's when he promoted Nyachai to become the district commissioner at that time. There's another friend we shared with, with, with uh, Simon, the late Job Omino. And we would sometimes sit, Grace knows the corner where we used to sit and they discussed very many issues, history, job, and Simon had attended the same course at Cambridge University those days when they were being trained to become civil servants. So we were great friends. Then another friend we share is um, Mze Madenge there, who was also a, a fellow permanent secretary, a great friend of Simon's. But then there was very much committed to freedom from hunger works. And he drafted Simon into it and would worry. We'd work together, freedom from hunger. And I remember one time as we were approaching Oyaki Way, I started getting cramps. And <laughs> <laughs> Zimadenge and, 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 and Simon came to my aid to help me to stretch up so that I could finish the, the, the work. I was actually very surprised that older people were able to make it and I was actually going to fail. 
So, we were friends. A lot has been said already about Simon. But there's that human part of him. A very compassionate person. But he also lacked uh, uh, um, efficiency. Trained in the colonial culture of efficiency. So he helped so many Kenyans to acquire education. When you go to the United States, you'll find villages filled by Kenyans who were actually beneficiaries of Simon's um, uh, generosity. You go to New Jersey, you go to Texas, you go to um, uh, Minnesota, where my friend, the deputy governor, was. Very many Kenyans there. Many sent to India, to China, all over the world. So he's made a tremendous contribution to our country. Uh, when he became a minister, I was a, a member of parliament. And we were, of course, uh, opposition, and he was in the government. But we worked very closely together with Simon as a minister for agriculture, later minister for finance at the time. Later on, when he had resigned from the government and was in opposition, we again worked together. When we started the Rainbow Coalition together, he came with four people, and we were ourselves, uh, we had come from, broken away from Kanu, and we formed the Rainbow Coalition together because they had negotiated with the late Jobomino. However, when we now teamed up with NAK to form NAC, we had an issue when I said Kibaki Tosha, that did not go down very, very well with Simon. And he would all the time he kept on reminding me how I betrayed him. But we remained friends uh, generally right through. So we are actually saying goodbye to a great Kenyan patriot, a man who has done a lot in the service of this country. And we want just to say, may the Lord rest Simon's soul in eternal peace. Thank you.